wants to talk about it, you know. Everybody thinks the military and cops and firefighters, you know, all these glorious jobs are so great and, you know, that's all you hear about, you know, the military this, military that, you know, you're a god if you're in the military and, you know, and, and th them professions are fine, but majority of them people in professions, like, they just act like a bunch of hard asses and stuff, and that's what I have a problem with, you know. Somebody wants to say something, and then they're like, oh, well, I'm a Marine, I'll beat your ass. And it's just like, dude, just because you're a Marine don't mean nothing. I work out with a dude that's five foot seven that would probably whip about anybody and because cause he's an MA, MMA fighter and stuff. He's never in the military. I mean, that don't mean nothing. It's the kind of person you are. I know people that would whip people that's never served a day in their military, cop, firefighter, nothing. Um cops, like I said, I don't really have a problem with cops. I have a problem with cops abusing their power. Like, they can, uh, to pull you over, say you're speeding a little bit, okay? They park in the median, they do an illegal U-turn, they run red lights, and they speed to catch you, and then they want to tell you that you're speeding, and that you're risking lives, and putting other people's lives in danger, when when they broke three laws, they did an illegal U-turn, they sped, they ran a red light and everything else, and that wasn't dangerous to give you a ticket? I mean, that stuff's ridiculous. And then firefighters, you know, I mean, I, I'm not down in anybody's job and stuff and everything, but I just look at all these jobs. And then I did corrections for a short time, absolutely hated it. The pay was horrible. It's a thankless job. It's not glorious like the military or a firefighter or some cops, a lot of cops are having it rough now, and I think they brought a lot of that up on their self, but you know, I mean, you can only treat people so bad for so long, and people's going to start sticking up for themselves. so, you know, like I said, I'm not blaming cops, but you know, a lot of the bad cops are ruining it for the good cops. Years ago, when people did jobs because they wanted to, or because they loved the country, they joined the military. Now you got people joining the military for free college, and you know, oh, I, there's a war going on, so I want to go over and kill people. Like, like you don't think that them people aren't shooting back and stuff? Like, so, but people join stuff now for the wrong reasons, and and cops, people used to be cops to help people and stuff. Now they're a lot of them's taking the serve off their cruisers because they are not even there to serve. I don't know how many times I've stopped to help people on the road and cops, state highway patrol, sheriffs passed right by them and I've stopped to help. And you know, I'm just driving a semi. And so I, I I couldn't do that, but these guys in the military and cops and all these guys, they want to look good in their uniform, they're afraid to get their self dirty. And, and like I said, I'm not saying all of them. You know, like I said, I drive a semi. You know, right there is a truck. I'm at the dock right now. So I don't have no glorious job. And I'm not saying truck drivers deserve more money or we're great or anything by no means. You know, so, but, you know, like I said, I did corrections for a lot less pay. Uh, horrible. I mean, it was a bad job all the way around. And like I said before, going back to that, it's not a glorious job. You don't get thanked for it. You get your, you know, you got to watch yourself all the time. You don't want to get shanked. You don't want to, you know, fights. You see a lot of bad things in there. And the pay, like I said, the pay's not good. The benefits are good because you're either working for a state or government. But it's just not, it's not good in there. And, you know, like I said, the hourly pay is not good. The benefits are good. But everything else is not good. And, I can drive a semi and make a lot more money, so to me, it's a no-brainer of what I want to do. But, um, but like I said, that and just uh, America is just—it's not like it used to be. Like I said, you know, it's just—I'm very disappointed in how it is. You know, I, people get famous off of Instagram and YouTube, and you know, because somebody squirts a lemon in their eye, you know, and everybody thinks it's hilarious, and people get people get rich and stuff off of that stuff, and just blows my mind away you know you look at Florida Bama and Jersey Shore and you know seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars for an hour episode and I just think this stuff's gotten ridiculous and I just you know athletes making millions and they can't and they're kneeling and protesting and they're always in trouble and fighting and this and that you know and President Trump on Twitter and stuff all the time bashing people and talking Dude, you're the president of the United States. You don't have nothing to prove to anybody. Who cares what people say? People's not going to like this video and I'm going to get grief over it or thumbs down because I said something about the military or a cop or a firefighter or, or something. And I'm not even bashing nobody. I'm just I'm just telling it how I feel. And people's going to agree with me or they're not going to agree with me. But 
I think everybody should agree with me about America and how people do certain jobs. And, you know, like I said, these reality TV stars and these athletes, and it's ridiculous that they get paid millions. Millions and billions, you know. And But, uh, but like I said, as far as the health care, that's awful. The health care is awful. If you go into the hospital and don't have health insurance, you're screwed paying it back the rest of your life. I mean, it's just... It's awful. Uh, a hospital stay, you might as well forget about it if you don't have insurance. And and I don't think that's right. And I think America, all of us need to change something about it. And I'm not saying, you know, it's like people come over. There's two different kinds of people. People come over here from another country for a better life to the USA, which is fine. Anytime you can better yourself, whether it be a job, college, you know, good for you. But there's two kinds of people that come over here. There's some people that get everything for free. They get their college for free. They get their housing for free. They get their health care for free. Why we work our ass off and have to pay for it. And, and we're, we're lucky to even get health care if we can afford it, you know? And I don't even know how people make it anymore. So you got them types of people that get everything handed to them. Then you got the people that come over and think, oh, wow, I'm going to come over to the U.S. and, you know, I'm going to make it big, you know? And they come over here and find out that, you know, $10 an hour job, 40 hours a week, that's $400. By the time it's taxed, you're going to make about $300, $315. So just make the math easy and say $300 a week. Times four in a month, that's $1,200. Okay, $1,200 a month, well, hell, your rent's at $900 or a grand. So that gives you two or $300 with, okay? You throw in your car breaks down, your electricity, your utilities anything like that so you got groceries you got two or three hundred dollars to live on you can't make it so two people in the household got to be working or you got to have another job you got to be working 60 80 hours a week to make ends meet anymore and i think that's horrible i mean and i'm not saying that you know people should have a ten dollar an hour job i'm not saying that but you know some people have a felony or something and and once again i'm not saying that you know, go commit a crime and have a felony. I'm not saying any of that. All I'm saying is, is you know, it's it's a hard world to survive in. And I understand why people do sometimes do the things they do because it's so hard to make it. By the time your insurance is taken out, you're taxed on your paycheck. And by the time all that's taken out and your health care and if you're on medication and it's just, that's why I'm bitter with the U.S., you know. And like I said, people's going to say, well, move then. I'll pay for your plane ticket and blah, 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 you know. Like I said, I would much rather live in Canada right now than, than how it is in the U.S. Because I see all these people struggling, my grandparents, you know. And I'm not bashing the military. My uncle was in Vietnam. He was drafted. My grandpa was drafted in the Korean War. You know, it goes clear back. I mean, I've got family, lots in the military, and I was going to join the military and join the Army, even here recently. But I got thinking, I don't want to be owned by the government, and I don't want to have to do this and that. And they say, oh, well, you're going to Leavenworth, Kansas, and, you know, being a, if you're a military police or working, working in the jail or, you know, just send you wherever, you know. And I don't know. I was, I was joined you know years and years ago and got hurt and things didn't work out story of my life but it's just it's just how it is but that's why I'm better with the US I don't mind living here I've been born here my whole life but there's just things that I wish that could change you know and and you know make it easier on everybody e even something simple as gasoline prices you know just drop the gasoline that would help everybody but you know Every time it's around the holiday or something, we got to skyrocket gasoline, you know? Just, it's always like screwing Americans, you know? And people, like, it's hard enough to survive as it is, so we're just going to keep on jacking up prices. But then when the fuel goes up, the diesel goes up, so guys that drive semis and stuff, then, then food goes up because they got to they gotta pay for, uh, for um, the fuel and stuff, so then that goes up. So it's just... It's just never ending. Um, but yeah, like I said, that's why I'm disappointed. Yeah, it's getting light because there's a guy backing in a truck right now. So, But yeah, that's my main reason why I'm just upset with the way things are going in this world. And, you know, people talk about how glorious these jobs are and people love these celebrities. And, excuse me, to me, I don't care if you're the president. I don't care if you're in the military. I don't care if you're a truck driver. I don't care if you're CEO. I don't care if you're a janitor, 
mop and piss. You know, I'm going to treat you the same as everybody else, you know? And that's another thing cops forget. You know, you got to respect people to get respect. You come up and act like a hard ass to people. I served divorce, child support, subpoena papers, eviction notices. I did all that stuff for 13 years. Never really, maybe one, two times I had a problem in all of them years because I treated with people with respect and I talked to people, you know, and, and that's all it was. I wasn't no better than anybody else. Never said I was, you know, I, like I said, I'm a truck driver, not a glorious job at all. I haul the mail. That's, that's what I do. Not a glorious job, but you know, I do it and it's just, like I said, it's just how it is, but that's why, that's why though, that like I said, I'm so bitter with, you know, the United States and celebrities and reality stars making millions and billions and then flaunting it and then you got people that's starving here that can't eat, you know, veterans that, veterans that can't make it and live and, you know, and they actually fought for America, you know, and stood up for what's right and so there's a lot of things that I don't like. I mean, like I said, if I moved to Canada, there'd be things I don't like there. There's things I don't like about this job. Every Everything in life, you're going to have something you don't like. So, you know, you just suck it up and make the best out of it. But I wish all Americans would get together and, you know, which will never happen. You know, it's like when gas prices were sky high and they'd tell people not to buy gas on a certain date. Well, people got to work, and some people don't get the message, so, you know, it goes on and on where, okay, you know, it's not going to work because not everybody's buying it at the same time. So, it's just, yeah, things don't work out, but, you know, it's like all these NFL players, you know, the protests going on and stuff, and, you know, they're making millions and billions, and... I think it's funny because there's some guys that I think are amazing athletes and they don't get a chance to go pro. And then I see pro players that's playing that I think's garbage. I Just because you're pro, I don't think that means that you're the greatest ever. I know athletes that probably could have been pro, you know, if they had got a chance. You know, I never got a chance. I was screwed from the time I was in sixth grade with sports. You know, I never had a chance. And then it was my fault I didn't keep my grades up to go on to college and play. You know, that was all my fault there. But, you know, I screwed from the time I was six years old. Everybody was after me. Coaches with sons, you know, not playing me because, you know, because of their sons and stuff. And, and I'm not making excuses. I mean, people that know me and know around know that, know that I got screwed. So, not saying basketball-wise, but football and baseball definitely screwed. I was getting screwed around baseball from the time I was six years old. And, you know, you get pissed off and bitter about that stuff because you wonder what you could have did if you'd got a chance. And, you know, but you never got a chance. So, you know, I'm not saying I'd be here playing pro nowadays making millions. I'm not saying that. But it'd been nice to at least get a fair handshake. And, like I said, if anybody knows, sees this video, I mean, they'd know who I'm talking about. Coaches and stuff. But, but anyway, I'm getting off talk of topic about with the U.S. and stuff. And like I said, people's going to agree with me and disagree with me. And I don't care. Everybody's freedom of speech. Anybody can say what they want. And, you know, so if they like it, fine. If not, fine. I mean, like I said, I just put this video out. Just just telling people how I feel, you know. And, and I'm very unhappy with the way America is, you know. And I'm not blaming the president. I'm not blaming Obama. I'm not blaming Bush. I'm not blaming nobody because that's the problem with this world. Everybody wants to point the finger at somebody else and nothing ever gets accomplished, you know. It's not really nobody's fault. It's everybody's fault because, you know, celebrities are making millions. Because of why? Because of the people. Uh, people want to complain about the presidents. Well, who voted for the presidents? Primarily somebody did because they got in. So it all comes back to Americans. So people want to bitch about celebrities and all that making millions. You know, I do, but I don't watch their shows. I don't go to games. I don't own a jersey. I don't own any of that because I don't agree with them making millions and I don't think it's right. So I'm not going to support them. Even if it was across the street and it was $5 admission, I wouldn't go because that's $5 I'm giving them. And I don't care about them to begin with. So anyway, it's about 1.45 now. This video's already been over 15 minutes. I got rambling, but anyway, like I said, just people need to think uh, before they do things and just, you know, like I said, I'm this video and this almost 20 minute video 
me going to change the world or anything, but 